Just days after Hurricane Michael, contractors converged on the Panhandle to help with recovery efforts. Many of those contractors stayed in rental properties and vacation homes while they conducted their work. But in her Panhandle Strong special report, News 13's Kelly Grossfield spoke with one property manager who says she had a terrible experience renting their townhome to a group of linemen. Contractors of all kinds are still very present in the Panhandle, but there are some questions surrounding how one group of communications linemen left a rental property in Destin. We thought renting to the group of linemen was the right thing to do, and uh, it turned out to be the wrong thing to do. Peggy Spires helps her employer manage multiple properties across the Panhandle and in parts of Alabama. In an effort to help with Hurricane Michael aid, they rented this Destin property located off Holiday Isle at a discounted rate to eight communications linemen. Little did they know the type of damage they would suffer. They had been mechanicking, doing shade tree mechanicking in the driveway and had changed oil and allowed the oil to drain right into the soil the engines, the oil, the tools, the parts. I mean, it was scattered all over the property. Spire says they constantly warned the workers to clean up. My husband had several conversations with them, said this can't go on. You know, you've got to get all that cleaned up. That needs to be towed out of here and taken to a repair facility. And we're given all these assurances that, that they're taking care of it. The men were in the property from October 12th to January 27th. Spires hadn't been inside the property at all during the three months in an effort to not invade their privacy. When she walked inside, she was shocked. The condition was the worst of any I've ever seen out of any properties I've ever worked with. The painter came and looked at it and said that we were going to have to scrub the walls and the ceiling before he could paint because the nicotine, which this is also a non-smoking property, but it had been so heavily smoked in that he said he wouldn't even, he said it would take multiple coats of kills, which would be a huge expense for us. But that wasn't all. Other damages to the interior and exterior, along with missing houseware items, totals over $5,000 in losses. If you have those kind of losses and damages, and you know, $500 water bills, not to mention the power bill, you can't afford to rent to these guys. You'll go broke. We reached out multiple times to the man in charge of the group who rented the property and have yet to receive a comment on the situation. Okay. Spires has reached out to the men on a number of occasions trying to get compensated for their losses. She hasn't contacted the sheriff's office yet. I'm trying to make it right first and, and get them to make it right first. But one thing is for sure, this will never happen again. I will never allow another group of contractors like that to stay in this property again. Spire said she hasn't heard a word from them. However, she did send an invoice to them through certified mail and has received the signed card back. She's just hoping that they make things right. Kelly Grossfield, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Now